from the top floor of Manio High School, live on tape, it's Manio Today with Kelsey Sexton and Kyle Logan. Your weekend weather with Logan Marshall and MHS Sports with Janae Julian. Good morning. Today is Friday, May 4th, 2018. And it's Kentucky Derby Day for Spirit Points. I'm Kelsey Sexton. And I'm Kyle Logan with Manio Today. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, a moment of silence. Good things are happening here at MHS. Students in Miss Holland's Honors Anatomy and Physiology acted out skits to explain specific humoral immunity. Each student played a role, an antigen, macrophage, T-cell, B-cell, or memory B-cell, and demonstrated his or her interpretation of the immunity reaction to the class. On Wednesday, Mrs. Mann and Mrs. Neiman's American History classes combined to welcome speaker Karen Edmond to talk about the Berlin Airlift. Miss Edmond was a child in Germany during World War II and the Berlin Airlift. She gave the students great insight as to what it was like to live in Germany during that time and how scared they were that the Soviets would attack. She also discussed how she first met the candy bomber and how he would wiggle the wings of the airplane to let the kids know he was dropping candy. Good morning. Looks like today and tomorrow are going to be really nice and sunny with warm temperatures. Currently, it's 64 degrees here in Manio and the water temperature in Naxit is 65 and 64 in Duck. For today, sunny with a high near 90 degrees right there in the upper 80s. Tonight, clear with a low back into the 60s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny with a high around 80. Saturday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms with a low in the 60s. On Sunday, showers and thunderstorms continue with a high around 70. Sunday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy, with a low back into the 60s. By Monday, mostly cloudy, it's gonna warm up again, close to 70 degrees. Have a great weekend. Good things are happening here at MHS. Thanks to Mr. Luciano and Ms. Hudspeth for supporting our mathletes this past week. We had a great trip to the state math contest. We started at NC State where we met up with MHS alumni, Dana Davenport and Columbus Dong. We had a lunch on campus and attended a Math 241 lecture, which is the same material as the BC Calculus. We headed to UNC Chapel Hill where we met up with Alex White, Josh Pack and Fletcher Casey to show us around that campus. Once we left UNC, we were Duke bound. We visited the Mathematics Building and the Duke Chapel. After a long day, we had a nice dinner and hit the sack. The competition was on Thursday and was at the North Carolina School of Science and Math, where our students tested in the morning, were treated to a pizza lunch, and then had a mathlete sprint and problem solving contest. Mr. Rablick was surprised when a former student, Kevin Snyder, from his very first BC calculus class in 1995, came up to say hello. He was there with his son. We are super proud of our very own Everett Meekins for earning honorable mention in the state math contest. This put him among the top 40 high school math students in the state, including private, public, and homeschool students. This year, senior Savannah Midget attended the contest as well, and juniors Bryson Casey, Catherine Rabinal, and Wesley Mitchum. We are proud of all of our Manio High School mathletes. Manio High School was among five schools who attended, out of 50 school schools represented, to bring five or more students. Pretty cool for a little 1A school from a little island. Go math! Mr. McKinley from the Fleet Reserve Association presented freshman Jeremy Beasley with an award for an essay he wrote in Mr. Daniel's history class. Jeremy placed third in the Northeast North Carolina region. The FRA annually sponsors the essay contest to promote the spirit of Americanism and patriotism among our country's youth. Coming up today, the Interact Club will be having a meeting during IT in the Media Center. The Jostens rep will be here for a makeup day for caps and gowns during all lunches in the gym lobby. Seek will be conducting a roadside cleanup this afternoon. Bags, gloves, and trash grabbers will all be supplied. See Mrs. Thomas if you can participate. Meet at the flagpole in front of the school at 3.15. Coming up tomorrow, the SAT will be given here at MHS beginning at 7.30. The Leo Club will be holding a car wash from 9 until noon at Southern Bank. Good morning, I'm Janae Julian with MHS Sports. The varsity softball team had a home doubleheader with Plymouth last night. Here are their scores. Good morning, Coach Wheeler here. 
Uh, just wanted to talk to everybody for a minute about a new course that we may be offering here at Manio High School called Athletic Administration. Uh, this course would involve many different things uh, such as event planning, sports compliance and law, uh, sport management, organizational management, uh, and marketing and branding. Um, if students are interested, you need to come see me. Uh, I'm usually in the cafeteria during first lunch and IT time. Also, you can come by my office, which is located down at the gym, to sign up. If you're also interested, I do have a course layout and syllabus that I can give you and show you um, a little bit more about the course and what there is to offer. We need enough students to sign up for this course and have enough interest that we can offer this next year at Manio High School. So if you're interested, please come see me. Um, sometime time and within the next week. Thank you. The girls soccer team beat Camden on a penalty kick along with capturing the conference championship. Congratulations to the girls soccer team on a great season. Congratulations to the MHS golf team on being named this year's conference champions. On Saturday, the Special Olympics was held. Zaria Liverman was one of the four students to run the torch in the opening ceremonies. She received three silvers for standing long jump, javelin, 100 meter relay, one gold for the 100 meter. Diamond Hansen got bronze in the standing long jump along with a silver and 50 meter and bronze and javelin throw. Daria White received the gold in the 50 meter dash and silver for softball throw and bronze in the tennis ball throw. The girls practiced for two months and excelled at their events overcoming strong competition and some nervousness. The ladies soccer team has a home game tonight with Edenton at 6 p.m. There's a varsity baseball game at home with Pocosin from Virginia at 6 p.m. Good luck to our tennis players, Colby Glott and Zane Edwards, as they are in Greenville today for their regionals. It's time to find out what's cooking in the kitchen with Miss Gail. Good morning. Today we have four cheese pizza, chicken and cheese flatbread, half-baked potato, buried green beans, and the frosty peach cup. Thanks, Miss Gail. That's Mania Today. For Janae Julian, I'm Kelsey Sexton. And for Logan Marshall, I'm Kyle Logan. Have, have a, a great, great weekend. weekend. And may the fourth be with you.